a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, my dude Neo messaged me, and we together unleashed this rare into the Raid Shadow Legends community, but she's gone by the wayside, and it's time to rediscover her again and unleash her on the community for a second time. Let's go. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? I am so thrilled and pleased to bring this video to you this morning. I don't know what <laughs> inspired me to do this today, but I'm so glad this idea popped into my mind. A few years ago, we were really just discovering the extent of what multipliers were, how impactful that was, what champions had weird multipliers that we had no idea about. And at the very top of that list, in my opinion, the number one find during that exploratory period was a rare champion. And I covered that way back in the day. You see... Back in the day, Trunda used to be the number one arena nuker by far, and I made this video about a rare that hits like Trunda, and that is still the case to this day. So if you want to see that video, I encourage you to go back and watch it. Some old school MTG Jedi action with uh, little tiny me. <laughs> You'll see if you go watch the video. If I can uh, find it in the in the log instead of just this picture here, um, I will share that with you at the end of the video. So stick around till the end, and then you can link up and watch that as well. Some of you, shout out to all the OG MTG Jedi fans who have been around since this video was first published. But for today, let's jump in and unveil this champion for all of you who don't know who I'm talking about. And even if you do know who I'm talking about, it's about time that you got to see this rare in action. So if we come in here, the rare on my mind today is going to be none other than Marques. And this champion is one of the best rares in the game. But the Demon Spawn faction is so full of amazing champions, she often gets overlooked. If, for example, she uh, was a female Lizardman instead of a female Demon Spawn, then this rare would be getting built all over the place. Same thing with a number of factions. If she was in Sylvan Watchers, for example, you would see her in tons of faction war content. You would see her in videos, you know, as a way to clear the waves in a lot of content. But because of her faction being so strong... That's one of the reasons why she gets overlooked. There are just too many other good options. Let's pop over to that faction and see what I'm talking about here. So if we take a look at Demon Spawn, basically all of the legendaries are almost an automatic build, especially if you're limited on who you have available on your roster. Like if Countess Lix is your only legendary in Demon Spawn, you're 100% going to build her. Drekstar is a free champion everybody can get, and I think everybody should be building him. You have nukers, you have support, you have bomb champions, you have decreased defense and weaken, you have one of the best nukers in the game, Hefrak. So to say that she's overshadows is maybe even an understatement. Then if we look at the epics, we have one of the best epic damage dealers in the game who's super tanky, and that's Magnar. We're discovering a lot of potential in so many of these other champions. I have Nazana ready to be built. I just built an Infernal Baroness. You know, like, all of these champions that have been here for a while are now seeing more playtime thanks to the Cursed City. And even when you come down into the rares... You're going to see a ton of usable rares in this faction. Like, if you were going to go build a rare, the first one you would probably build is Fellhound. Because he can farm campaign. 
So do you need another rare damage dealer in this faction? I don't think you need her, but I think that she could possibly be one of your best nukers. If you're struggling for damage dealers in 3v3, in faction wars, she is definitely going to be a go-to. And I'm going to showcase her with some crazy champions to prove she belongs there. Uh, and last but not least, before we jump over and talk about Marques a bit more, look at her build, etc. I think that this faction is even clearable with all rares. So, um, you can build some Diabolus, a Fellhound, you can even build Houndspawn and Hellfang, which is a great DPS control combo, Abyssal's great, Hellborn Sprite sees play, and Petrifia, uh, Petrifia, I don't know how, how you want to say it, uh, she's even usable in Clan Boss, I've seen people build Hellfreak, so I think this is one of the most thorough factions in the game, and if Marques was in a different faction, oh my goodness, she would be in the conversation with Coldheart. And I place her there in my tier ranking of rares. She's probably top five rares in the game, and a lot, a lot of people are definitely sleeping on her. So, let's go take a look here at Marques. I have her in a very old build. I have her in a very old build, and I'm going to... That was weird. <laughs> Did you guys see the attack number ticking down? I don't know. That's that's new. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Now, uh, I did recently get a six-star blessing for her, so we'll talk about how impactful that is, and then I'm going to put her in some more upgraded gear so you can see that as well. I think that she's absolutely amazing, and we're going to mainly focus on her in Arena, but I'm going to do a test build of her in Hydra and run it real quick to see if she's viable there. And then we're going to take a look at any other places that I think and kind of wrap that all in together at the end of the video here. Okay, so before we jump into the action with her, I want to explain where all of her stats are coming from. Okay, so she's only getting 300 defense from the six star blessing and 23 crit damage. Those are the two most important things. Now, if you're going to build her as an all-around champion, I do suggest putting more accuracy on her. Her kit does benefit from having accuracy because she can place the weaken she needs in addition to doing the damage. So if you're going to use her, I would suggest a minimum of like 220, 230 accuracy. She is definitely way too slow, and that's one of the things I'd like to address when I go to rebuild her. And last but not least, if possible, try to build attack on her. I think the best and only really damage dealing rare blessing is Phantom Touch, and that goes off of the champion's attack value. So let me know if you think a different blessing would be better on her, but I'm going to just build some substat attack on her and use Phantom Touch. I did thoroughly this morning look over all of the other blessings. I thought about Hero Soul, but we're going to be using her in Arena. I don't think that's going to work. Um, so let me know if you think there's a different rare blessing that is going to work here. I feel as if that's one of the things that's really holding her back from being the next level of damage dealer. If we just took her, made her an epic, she would be insanely so much better. Insanely so much better. Her base stats would go up a little. And actually, Plarium, making a an epic version of her, I think would be really cool. I think it'd be really cool. So her A1 can place decrease attack as well. Again, we don't really need that. So, But if you have accuracy, it can be helpful. She's going to place the weak in here. But we don't care about that. We want somebody else to do the weaken, and then she's going to get an extra hit 
on everybody who has weaken. It doesn't really say that, but this deals extra damage to enemies with weaken is basically like an extra hit. And then she's got a single target smack here on the A3. I know it says that you're going to be freezing stuff. Ignore that. It's just a single target nuke ability. And if you need an aura, she can be your aura lead in faction crypts as well. So, I don't have insane stats on her, right? She only starts at a 1,000 base defense, okay? So, it's going to be challenging to get her defense higher. You see that I have her in a Savage and Defense set. I actually wonder if Savage and Cruel or Merciless. There's going to be a lot of different ways that you can build her these days. Um, but this is my current build on her that I would say is somewhat, uh, you know, buildable, somewhat accessible. And I do have flawless execution on her. I think that would be better suited as Helm Smasher and we'll change those masteries after I do the rebuild. But before then, I want you to see how viable she is in this type of gear before I go make the build even better. Okay, now jumping over into Arena, before I show the team, I want to tell you I'm using powerful champions in the team, okay? The point is to showcase her with her full potential, and so therefore I'm going to pair her with other champions. I will show you some other maybe free-to-play options that you can use. There's one in particular that comes to mind, but I think that this is, in my opinion, the best layout for her. And I do want to do start doing some more arena content. So if you're if there are other champions you'd like to see in this type of a video, hit me up in the comments below or message me in Discord. I think that you can use her in live arena as well. I have a hard time finding recording availability during the windows where it's open. So I, I don't have that time right now. Okay, so let's come in here and let's look at some teams, okay? Let's take this team as like a really great example of popular defense champions. And you can see the team that I'm using here is also a very trendy top tier champions right now this strategy is infecting all of arena and that is armands sifi lady makage and your choice of nuker now you can also run this in live arena if you have not done so already it is very very good i suggest having another aura lead that is a speed lead depending on who you have available on your account um, you know, whoever you want, you can put Arbiter there, you can put Kaimar there, you can put Lazarius there, you know, whoever it is, um, I think Estrid would be particularly good here as well, like if you don't have Lady Makage, a great answer would be Estrid. And the reason for Estrid is because she is going to place this weaken. Now, I think Lady Makage is a better version of that because not only is she going to place the weaken, she's going to remove their D... Uh, wait, what is it? Oh, yeah, remove their buffs. I was like, I read debuff and I was like, do I not know what I'm talking about? No, I know what I'm talking about. It's going to remove all the buffs, then place the weaken. And so Marques is going to have that weaken up more often. Now, with her being as slow as she is... That is going to create a little bit of issues, but let's come in here and rock and roll this freaking Marques and show you the win streak that we're on here, okay? Now, we're going to see Armand's doing the control. So if you're like, okay, Marques, awesome, I love it, um, then this is the best team, I think. Look at that! Boom, 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 boom! Pop goes the weasel. Okay, so... Now, if you are like, I love this team concept, I clicked on the video, but Marques is really not for me, you can use another defense-based champion in this team. Harima is great. Obviously, a lot of people pair Rodos in here as well. So those are some other popular champions you can use. Uh, any really defense-based nuker is going to fit really well in this team because of the increased defense buff from Sifi, but you can really use any, any champions you want. For example, you could use your own Monkey King in there, which would be great. 
You can use your own Mithrala for increased defense and pair her with Arbiter. So there's a lot of variations of this strategy as well. But Marques still coming in here, smacking some dudes in the arena. And they will never expect it. They will never expect it. Let's see it again, okay? Um, obviously, we are going to be going first here. And that is going to be really powerful for us. There it is. And you can see that second hit really coming out the gates with the possible damage for us. Okay, so um, another content creator here. I think that's him. But he's probably going to be faster than me. Um, let's see what happens if we go fast. I think that's really fitting fighting against the Trunda, okay? Um, my Sifi is built in zone skin, so she's not crazy fast. Um, but we'll take this off auto and see what we can do here. Um, okay, we do, we did cut in, which is absolutely shocking. And then we can still transform and strip okay now marques is gonna die and then we're gonna revive her and hopefully get a turn here and then nuke him oh yeah there we go that's what i'm talking about and you can see Marques obviously doing all the damage. Like, there's no damage coming from anyone else. We're controlling them really well with the champions that we have, but there's no damage coming from anybody else. Uh, so that is freaking amazing. Okay, so what do you think so far of Marques? I think that she's absolutely super good, still super viable. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go re-gear her, and then we're going to play her in some uh, top-end 3v3 matches against some real endgame legit teams. I'm so excited. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be a real test here. Okay, I really I really tried my best. Okay, to gear her in, in some like real nice end game gear. I think I could probably get a little more out of it. But anyway, we're gonna come over here to three v three. I'm in gold four, and uh, we're gonna try to take on some crazy teams. Okay, uh, so here we go, coming in here. And the team that we are going to use is going to be this one. And before we jump in, let me just show you um, how I have changed her build. Okay, so I've changed her over to lethal. Okay, that will allow me to get some more stats in here because we're getting that bonus 10%. I also got her in cruel for an additional ignoring the enemy defense. I think that uh, a lot of people underestimate how much that impacts your damage, ignoring 5% of the defense. This is what makes Merciless so good, is because it does 30%, and so we can come in here and basically make our lethal set into a, you know, a Merciless set with this. And in addition to that, the attack is actually going to help her because of that Phantom Touch. So you'll notice things on here where I have the attack substat, that's Glyft, that's on purpose here, right? And I've done that same thing where I could on the rest of her gear. Uh, you can even see I had this one uh, used from somebody else, but it's fully ascended with attack. Really helpful, especially that flat attack because her attack is so low. And then we have um, some gauntlets over here. I had a defense chest. This is the first time using this chest, so that's going to be fun. And then the boots defense percent with speed. Um, definitely some other upgrades we could make to the build, but for now, I think we're going to keep the same masteries I had before, and we're going to see what kind of action we can do. So let me go ahead and sort of get this set up here and try to get to this second fight so we can showcase our sweet Marques. All right, here we go. We won the first fight. Now we're going to come in and Armand's them. They're in stone skin. That's kind of a problem because <laughs> now we're going to get Armand's right back. Okay, but that's okay. So let's do this. Let's protect. 
Okay, now should we transform? Yes, let's go ahead and transform. And then let's try to remove all these crazy buffs. We didn't really do it. We got sheeped. Okay. Um, let's revive her. And see what we can do. Let's try to put his mess with him and then get him. Man, so much protection over there. Okay, so we're still not dead yet. We're still not dead yet. Uh, let's go ahead and... S nope. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> That's probably part of his passive. Okay, let's stun him. Okay, can we sleep him? No. Okay. <laughs> no! We're dead. <laughs> Alright, that T was too hard. Uh, I think I'm going to lose on purpose. So we can come in and try to fight this team here. And see if maybe it's just the, the Armands is too strong. Armands versus Armands. Okay, one second. Okay, we beat our we beat their team with our team. So let's see what we can do here now. So I'm told that people still A2 with Armands, even in this type of situation. Is that just for this? I guess. Okay, so then we'll sheep and then we'll boost. And then we'll transform with Makage and strip this one. I never remember which one is which. Okay, they're protected, but we do have the weaken except on Sifi. Okay. Oh, we got the reaction proc. Okay. Um, let's try to put her skills on cooldown. No, obviously not, because of the uh the change here. Um, I guess we'll sleep. Nope, that's not going to work either. And despite her having 5k defense, uh, this is not really letting us be survivable for some reason. Okay, uh, let's, let's revive her. I think that's been the most shocking part about this. Okay, let's kill Ultimate Death Knight. We did not. Okay, let's stun them. Okay. Let's sleep the sheep. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to have to hit here. And then... I don't know. Maybe let's transform her back and give a boost and try to kill Sifi. Okay. Reasonable. And is her cooldown back? Not quite. Let's attack Duchess and kill Ultimate Death Knight. Perfectly fine. Okay, let's stun them. And... Uh, okay. Sleep. Okay. Do we want to sheep someone? I don't think so. Now kill them. I mean, this is an incredibly tanky team. And we are still in it. We're still in it. Okay. And yeah, we don't have our boost available back yet. Kill Duchess. Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and Armand's them. A1. Boost. A1. Are we going to kill him? No. And kill her. Wowzers. So you can see that she is quite capable of killing some of these teams. Now, am I saying she's going to revolutionize the game again? No. But you're not going to be fighting against this level of team probably. And I think that that is quite the case. So let me know what you think. Have I made the case for her? 
Let me know in the comments below. Let's go into the bonus content. This video is getting a little bit long, but I don't care. If you're here for it, you're here for it. Okay, so if I was going to use her in Faction Wars, uh, this is the team that I'm going to try and see if I can get a new best time. But there's plenty of capable champions. And also, if you don't have a team set up for each faction, you should definitely go do that today. Very, very helpful, especially progressing through Faction Wars. But also, just being able to have the presets on there is really powerful as well. Um, and then you can use any number of champions. This faction is not that hard. You know, there are epics. You can beat it with all epics. You could throw Marques in there. Very good. She's very, very good. And so whatever kind of team you want to use her in, I think that that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of options in this faction for faction work. There's not anywhere in particular in like most of the rest of the game where she would be like an all-star. I think her main area is going to be arena, but I do, I'm very curious. What if we were to use this kind of a build and try to run some like hard Hydra team? Like what if we try to like put her in that team from the other day where we have a really nice, you know what, maybe we just restructure this team from the other day and see what we can do there. The number one piece of feedback I got the other day was uh, with Varl. Uh, and it so happens that Marques can do her own weaken. So I think it would be better if we put her on a team with like Lydia, but like, let's like see what she can do here. Obviously, you know, this is not going to be, um, you know, a, a Hydra showcase here, but um, maybe it will be. I did not test this ahead of time to know how good it's going to be. Okay, so she's doing like 78k on that AoE here. And again, we are in hard Hydra here. So, um, because she is the one putting the weaken on there, uh, do we have enough accuracy? Yeah, we should definitely have enough accuracy. Let me get to some head splitting, and then we'll see what kind of numbers we come out on the other side with. Um, and you can always go back and compare with the damage that we did in that video the other day as well. Okay, well, here is going to be her A1 with no decreased defense. 338k? Wait, what? 338k? What? On her A1? Okay, wowzers. Okay, we need to set up, like, the right situation for her other abilities. Okay, here's decreased defense. And let's go ahead and cleanse. Is she gonna get a turn? Okay, Molly, just A1. Okay, Molly can do some decent numbers too if they're under HP burn, just FYI. Okay, please, Marques. Okay, here's the A3. We have decreased defense, and this is the little version of Weaken, right? The, where, where does it even say? Oh, that's not the right one. This is the 15% Weaken. So if we brought somebody else in with the bigger version of Weaken, or we could change her Blessing as well if we wanted less damage and more consistency. 832k on her A3! What? What? Okay, that's crazy. Let me know if you want to see a full video. I'm, I really might have to do a follow-up on Marques here for Hydra. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Okay, so here is the A3. Okay, I was so weak hits here on this head. So maybe we'll try to pop here. Okay, let's clear that. Put this up. Okay, perfect. I'm going to try to get this set up over here on an affinity positive head. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so A2, affinity positive. I think she's going to place the weaken first and then do the second hit. 303, 262. So she did 500, over 500K, 562K on 
that A2 smack just on that uh, neck alone. That is pretty incredible. I'm actually kind of blown away by that. I'm going to let this play out for a couple minutes, and then I'll come back at you. We'll see how survivable it is, and I'm going to just like let this go and see what we can do here. Okay, so Marrakesh just got consumed. We made it to turn 159, 58 million. Put in the comments below, why is Ugo chilling next to the Hydra, ready to get eaten? Uh, put in the comments below, how much of the damage do you think came from Marques? How much came from Mithrala with the Hex? And how much came from Artek with the HP burn? Let's see it. I am really shocked here. Let's go. Marques did 15 million. And our attack did 18. That's insane. I wonder what she would be like in like a real Hydra setup. But I do really love this team, by the way. I think this team is really great. And Nikmo got eaten accidentally pretty early on in the fight. So I would normally, like if this was my regular team, I would rerun this. Um, but, you know, we were running with five champions here for at least 100 turns. Maybe at least 75 turns, I would say. And, dang, what an incredible result. Okay, well, either way, I need to hit free regroup there. But apparently we're missing an artifact as well. That could be why he got eaten, maybe. Um, so what do you think about freaking Marques, guys? I am still impressed. I obviously don't think if you, you're you going to build her if you have tons of legendary nuker options. You know, but if you don't have tons of legendary nuker options and you don't have some of the the accessibility to a wide roster, I think she can definitely help you. But you tell me. I was really impressed. I thought she was able to do a lot of the things that we expect out of epics and legendaries, and I thought she was able to do that pretty well, even in the first version of her gear that was way more accessible than I have for this one. But let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you guys. And please give me some suggestions on who I can put this defense nuker gear on. Because I really liked this setup with the lethal and cruel. I need to figure out if this is going to be on her or on somebody else. But either way, thank you so much for watching. You're a legend if you made it to the end of the video here. And I will see you guys in the next one.